Hunters has been researching the Log4j vulnerability and relevant exploitations in order to surface servers at potential risk and hunt for exploitation attempts, as well as to develop detection methods that can detect the exploitation of Log4Shell. Hunters offers cross-data sources detection, supporting more than 40 combinations of security products, such as CDRs, web application logs, and network logs, that can enhance the ability to detect the threat of the Log4J vulnerability. Throughout this short demo video, we will show how hunters can detect the Log4Shell vulnerability by connecting telemetry from different data sources. The first two detectors are correlation detectors of WAF logs and EDR logs, and WAF logs and AWS VPC logs. In this detection, we identify a malicious payload in the HTTP or WAF or proxy, and then the domain and IP are correlated with EDR network logs. This means that we look at the EDR network connections and search for the ones matching the IP or domain we have found in the potential attack. This detection looks for log for shell exploitation attempts followed by an outgoing connection to the attacker's domain or, or IP detailed in the JNDI lookup string observed in the logs. The IP addressed the device in our environment, which has an EDR agent running on it, and it triggered an outbound connection to this address by sending this payload, which was found on the user agent. This payload is basically the JNDI string which triggers the vulnerability. The second option is network traffic. In this case, an IP is correlated with network logs, such as firewall logs. This means that we look at all of the outgoing network traffic and search for connections to the malicious IP. This works generically for many different network logs, such as SPAN, AWS VPC logs, checkpoint traffic logs, etc. If we're going back to the attack story, the address that we showed before, which is the victim's address, connected to the attacker's device and pulled a malicious payload, which is basically a malicious command line of reverse shell, which you can see right here. This was detected by the EDR in place, and it was blocked. All of this attack investigation flow was enabled by connecting the different detectors for various data sources into a single story.